Hello guys, welcome to Let's Talk About podcast where we'll be talking about the issues in our society and culture. Guess what guys? My name is Emmanuel Scott Fataki. I'm your host and I'm not alone today. Yeah, I'm in the house too. My name is Karambu Music and I'm so glad to be here. And in this show we'll share tips, strategies, conversations and research to help you become the person you want to be in any kind of relationship you want to be in. May it be family based, may it be friendships, any kind of relationships. That's what we're here about. Yeah guys, so today we are talking about encouragement. Encouragement and the main topic is your mouth in the society. Oh my god. You know what? Uh, the mouth is a powerful tool and source of metaphor. You know many things are done by the mouth. It spits, it drinks, and devours, speaks and screams, you know, whispers, sings, eats, vomits and sucks, feels, tastes, kisses and bites. <laughs> you know, the mouth is an entrance and an exit, a vulnerable and powerful part, not only of the human body, but also of the society itself. Yeah. And uh, do you know the mouth, uh, the words that come out of your mouth, you can cause things to live and things to die by those words that come out of that mouth. Yeah, that's true. And that your success in life is connected to what you say out of your mouth. Your tongue is the most powerful member of your body. The power of death and life is actually in your mouth. Isn't that very, very surprising, Fatake? It's so surprising, it's so amazing, it's so encouraging. Because, you know, just the way you've said, the words, words can kill words can also build life, you know, can also give life. Just the way you say the tongue can be destructive when you used to speak. You know, you know, they say the tongue can be destructive when you used to speak the um, like poisonous words, like you're stupid. Like, let's imagine someone calling, saying, Frida, you're stupid. You see, even your mood, your mood just changes, just changes and it may force you to to have a certain character towards the other person which may not be a positive feedback to the other person. What you mean is um, those words say to you sometimes can make you feel loved or hated. They can make you... That's very true. Yeah, they can make you feel valued or not valued. They can make you seen and heard. They can inspire and move us. They can surprise and delight us. Um, one sentence, passage, quote, or compliment can change our way of thinking or even our entire life. That is very true. Uh, like, I read somewhere you were saying, like, cruel words spoken that can crush another person's spirit. Um, it's like, sure, you can say something like, Karambu, you're stupid, or oh, oh, Scott, you're stupid, you're good for nothing, you are this and this and this, blah, 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 you're bad, you, you are weak, you, you will not make it in life, you will always be down. You see, then you come afterward, you say, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say those words. I, no, you already spoke, you already said those words. Yeah. The, uh, the feeling I had when I heard those words, and you coming back l- later on and saying, I... I take back the, those words. You n- yes, yes, I'll forgive you. Yes, we'll forget about it. But you, you destroyed me. Yeah, yeah. And you'll still remember one. Still, you'll still remember them one time or another. It's not like you've not forgiven the person, but as time goes by, you still remember those words. And sometimes you you get uh, so your mind gets so connected to them or concentrated you concentrate on them too much and uh, it might change how you live so you might revolve around those negative words so I think it's always okay to dwell it's always good to dwell on the positive that is very true so I'm going to read uh, this specific story I, I read from just the way we said in the first episode we'll be doing some research and come and share with us all so that we may learn you know so we are all here to learn from each other so this story says like a few years ago at at summer camp a young girl told those instructors you know that, that she and her sister fought all the time that she often said to her sister i wish you were dead then with tears in her eyes she told the instructors that her sister had died 
like a year ago and she wished that she never would have spoken like that to her so in in her own simple and powerful way she was just wanting us to watch what what we say like you don't have to to wish evil thing to your neighbor to your friend to your mother to your coworker to to just anyone because words are powerful just even the bible says the tongue has power of life and death so whatever you declare or, or say on someone may come to pass may happen because words have ears you know the angels have ears demons are there when you speak everyone listens so others like evil spirits may work may act on upon those words you said the word you said like she just said maybe she was angry at her sister then she said i wish you were dead then a year after a year the sister part just died oh my God. so <laughs> you're like did i kill my sister did i kill my sister yeah and um one thing i've read is um in the book of james the tongue is compared to as the rudder of a ship the bit in the horse's mouth you know the one that controls how the um, horse goes you know the one that helps in controlling that and it's also uh, with this uh, with a tiny rudder a captain controls the direction of a big ship like a massive ship and with a tiny bit the horseman tells the horse where to go and it obeys and who can deny the destructive power of a little spark um, of a fire set in a forest because this fire is uh, obviously going to spread you know what i'm saying so the tongue says james Though tiny is as powerful and influential in determining the course and destiny of your life as any of this. That is why Hebrews 10:23 exhorts us to hold fast to the confession of our hope without wavering, for he who promised is faithful. You know, the word translated confession literally means to say the same thing. You know, what God says you are, you just confess it with your with your own mouth you know god wants us to give a glorious god wants to give us a glorious future and for us to experience every promise he has made and fulfilled in christ and we will if we yield our tongues to him and allow him to bring our tongues under his influence so, <laughs> so i oh my god that was long but i feel like god wants us to confess good things to call good things into our lives because any times we don't any time we don't do this any time we just um use um why we think we we, we of, often confess uh worse or bad things in our lives they come to pass sometimes <laughs> yes because this of our mouths this of our tongue is very very powerful for take it is very powerful indeed uh frida uh, like you, you know you cannot really protect yourself against the words someone may say you know if i, I can hold a knife and bring i want to you know, I, I want to hurt you with that knife. You may protect yourself easily, sure. but my bad words. You cannot. You cannot even be. Uh, uh, you cannot even be aware that they're this coming. guy. They are coming. They are coming. Let, let me get a shield yeah. and cover myself. Let me get yeah. this whatever what, bulletproof so that the, those words will, will not uh, will not reach me. You know, you cannot really protect yourself. So that's why we need to be careful. We need to be careful with the words because I can a, a simple word can torment your entire life True. if I don't change that word. If I don't come and take it, even even if I may I may come and take it back, I may repent, I may say sorry, but there's that wound that only yes, God yeah. that only God can cover it. But as human beings, that wound will. The, every day you'll be seeing me say, ah, that guy said this about me. That guy told me this. That guy said, I'm not good. Uh, I'm good for nothing. So, you know, those words are so powerful. The way we speak, we just have to be so careful. We just have to be so careful. Because, I don't know, the knife, the, if, does what have knives? Knives somehow with them, I don't know. I don't know if yeah. they have knives. Yeah. But I think words are like fires. I, I don't know. Have you ever been burned by fire? Yeah. yeah. The pain now imagine that's that is physical pain mm-hmm. but now words is emotional and internal pain yeah. your soul just that you crushed your soul just 
Jesus Christ. Yes. You, you, you don't know how to, to stand, you don't mm. know how to look at yourself because even you, it brings down your, your self esteem, yes. it brings down your confidence. Mm-hmm. So you just become crushed, like a, a crushed person. You remember the f- story of the fig tree? Uh-huh. When Jesus cast it, uh-huh. and the next day the disciples realized that uh-huh. it was drying. Wow, the, the, I didn't know how powerful the words I say to to someone, uh, how how powerful those words are, how they could crush a spirit and how they could build that person. So I think I feel like I should be more careful when speaking to people, when talking to them, and even to ourselves. Futaki, that sometimes we we talk stuff to ourselves and it crushes us. It ends up. It ends us. It en- ends up um, making us feel I don't know how, like we are not kind to ourselves, yeah. you know. So when we are, when we are talking to people around us, when we are talking to our siblings, there are times even parents really speak very hard things to yeah, us. Yeah, so um, in future, I feel like if I have a baby of my own, there are things I wouldn't say to them, even if they were said to me by my parents. So it's very important for Taki that anytime we speak to people around us, anytime we speak to those close to us, we are so careful so that we don't destroy them, we don't crush them, we build them, we show them love, you know? Yeah. You know, like, uh, there's this guy in, in my my country where I come from, like the the parents decided to name their child Mateso. Okay, yes, in African language, in African culture, you know, it's just a name, but you don't know the consequences of naming your your son or your daughter a certain name that has meaning, powerful, strong meaning. You know, like you call your son. Mateso, and you expect that son to do well in in school. You still expect that that guy when he grows up to do, he, well, in to do well in life, and his name is Mateso. So every everywhere he goes, if he wants to go an exam, like the name still is still claiming him, you are Mateso. So you're not supposed to succeed because you are Mateso. So but okay, guys, for those guys who don't know Swahili, Mateso is like um. Suffering, yes. this suffering. Imagine naming your your son or your daughter suffering, and you want them to be successful. You want them to to be rich, to be whatever, all the good things you want your your children to be. Mm-hmm. You want them to be, but the name is still claiming the person, still reclaiming. No, you are Mate, so you are supposed to suffer all your life. Well, that's why you see some other people in the in school. They don't they don't do well. Then you may, you just say this guy doesn't study. No, it's not even about studying. There are some names that we are given. That's why it's very important to know the meaning of your names as well. Yeah. What, what does my name mean? Yeah. You don't even know the meaning of your name. Then there are, in life, you're really struggling to make things happen and things don't just happen. Yeah. Because your name is still reclaiming you, you're not supposed to, to be good, you're supposed to be bad. Mm-hmm. You're not supposed to move on, you're supposed to, to be stagnant. So it's very powerful those names we give because those names come from our mouth still yes. you know you s- to tell your son like your son may do something bad your child may do something bad you say when do you call on a okay y- y- why 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 are you saying kichwa kubwa yeah. you know those those people those small small kids mm-hmm. when they grow up with that mentality niko kichwa kubwa niko kichwa kubwa when, when, to say, let's say for example, they are in a setting where they are playing, then another child will say, ah, this this guy is Kichwakubwa. Even the dad calls him Kichwakubwa. How do you how do you feel how how do you expect that guy to have a self self esteem that that is strong? strong? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you expect him to survive in this? Wow, that you have to be strong and meet new people every day and fight yourself so that you may get, get, uh, you may gain access to those high places you want to to gain. Um, for Taki, I feel like um, as parents, as teachers, you know, those people who deal with kids, mm-hmm. they should be more careful the things they they talk, the things they say to these kids. Uh, reason being. 
these kids will grow up and they'll grow up feeling like they're not good enough, they're not loved, they are undervalued. And when they grow up, they won't have that uh, courage, you know, to face life. Yeah. They will be feeling like they can't handle the, the things that life brings to them. And it's, it's, it, that's a trauma in itself. It's a trauma in itself when a kid is brought up feeling like they're not good enough when they go out there they will not be able to conquer, they will not be able to to, uh, to face issues in life. And they will be feeling like they don't have anyone they can go to. So whatever we say, we are, as I was saying, if I ever have my own kids, I want to to give them, to tell them positive, positive stuff all the time. Even if they go wrong, you don't have to, to speak, I don't know. I don't know these things. Oh my God! <laughs> the things parents speak to their kids, and it's so devastating. When you think about it, it's so devastating. So it's just learning how to to, to speak to people around us, and it's not only people. The, um, uh, in settings such as um, even churches, even you know workplaces, there are bosses who speak really harsh things to their. Um, employees there are people if you are a leader the way you speak to those under you it's i think it's important that you look at those things and you should um you should always tame yourself you know it's about taming this this thing is dangerous the tongue is dangerous the mouth is dangerous so how you tame it to speak positive things into other people's lives it's very important it's very critical it is, it is indeed. Like when, when you mentioned the, the church settings, like some something just came to my mind. I I was listening to this preacher, he's called uh, Marcelo Tunasi, he's a Congolese preacher. He was saying like, the church is not a bus, but the church is a family. The church is not supposed to be like a bus, because it is a family. And he, made, he explained, he said like, in a bus, you enter a bus, you don't really care about the person sitting next to you. Mm-hmm. Something bad may happen to him or her. You say, oh, he's not even related to me, you know. Th- that is the mentality of the bus when you are in a bus. But now, in, in a family, Frida is my sister. Yeah. When she gets married, I'll be so happy. Yeah. I'll be cheering for her. Mm-hmm. When she gets a, a promotional swag, I'll be, I'll be cheering for her. You see that mentality? Yes, yes. What, what, whatever good that happens to Frida, will automatically make me happy. Yes. You know, I'll be happy for you. Mm-hmm. I'm happy for you. Yeah. you. Indeed, you got that visa. May God bless you. Mm-hmm. Keep going on, keep soaring. But now, if we have that mentality of a bus, I don't know you, you don't know me. We say, ah, ah, I'm a Chumeka and I'm good. Ah, sing, 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 sing. That's their own story. But if we change that mentality yeah. and say, we are not in a bus. Because in a bus, we just know, okay, we're in this bus, we're going to town. So that's our final destination. When we reach town, everyone goes their own way. Yeah. Then we forget about it. But as a family, you I may go to you may go to town, I go to like, the river, I mean, we may go to South Africa, I go to America. We'll still have that connection. Yes. I call you, how are you doing? Are you doing well? Oh, this this and this happened to you. Yeah. How are you going to handle about it? Let's pray about it. Yeah. Let's solve it. Let's do this and do this and do that. You you see, that caring mentality, yeah. that's what we need. That caring mentality comes with with powerful, nice, encouraging words. You can't have that mentality if you have harsh words. For example, those people who normally gossip about people. You know, in gossiping, you'll only see you will only see weaknesses about people. You cannot see potential when gossiping gossiping bad about people. Let's say, for example, a, a, a typical example. Ah, you see, you see, Frida. Ah, no, which kind of clothes? You see, we don't see the potential. But if you say, you see, Frida, ah, she sings so powerful. I like the way she praises. Then you're like, oh, I can by that I can I can approach uh, Frida. What do you do? How, how do you have such a strong, powerful voice? What do you do? Then Frida may say, you know, I, I take I take ginger every morning. Sorry, oh, so it's ginger. So you need to be because when you you're speaking positive things about people, you'll see you'll be able to see their potential, and their potential may help you also improve in certain areas. But when you always gossip bad things about someone, you don't see their weaknesses. And so um, I think it's about when you build someone else, you're also building yourself in a way. 
I build you for Turkey, I'm building myself because uh-huh. we are like, you know, this is a family the same way the, the same way you've said it. We are family. Yes. So if uh, if one part of the family is not doing okay, I will not be doing okay. Yes. Uh, the other part of the well, the other part of the family won't be doing okay. So it's about building each other. It's about um, helping each other grow. And if you see a weakness in a person, it's not a must. You speak it the way you 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 feel like it should come out in a hush. The people who say at um I'm 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 a very um, how do they say it? They, this is what they use. Um, they they tell that I'm a hush. They they tell people the truth very harshly, and they try to just justify it. And I feel like such kinds of people are the ones who just bring or crush people's spirits, and it's not supposed to be like that. It's not supposed to be like that. Mm. Because uh, you know, uh, let's say for example, this this scenario. I I come I come home. I find maybe my wife. She hasn't cooked yet. I don't know why she hasn't cooked yet. I just come. Why? Why haven't you cooked? I'm hungry in this house. Whatever. I, I left money. Whatever. 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 You see, by just saying that, I, I I've just destroyed the entire mood of that house at that particular time. And take this scenario. I come. Oh, babe, you have, babe, you haven't cooked yet. Oh, what's wrong? What happened? Then oh, I felt sick. Whatever. Yeah. You see, there has like, to be a reason, maybe. Uh-huh. They, they, there has to be something that happened. So uh, that's why these other things didn't happen. So trying to find out before jumping into conclusions. I get you. <laughs> and it's a very mature way of dealing with things. I, I think anger causes us to overreact. Anger causes us to say really harsh things to people, cruel things to people. And it shouldn't be like that. We should tame ourselves to 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 like. We should ask the spirit, the Holy Spirit of the Lord, to just help us. Uh, and um, so that when we speak, yeah. we speak uh, life. We don't speak death in people's lives. Yeah. Mm. So like we really need to do that. And also when we come into the marriage sector or people who are in relationships, people who are courting, the kind of what you use to your partner also matters a lot. Yeah. Because you can still build your relationship and at the same time it can also destroy what you're trying to build, you know. You are like, uh, this house looks clean and neat. Mm-hmm. These are encouraging words. Yeah. But instead of coming and say this this house needs to be clean. Yes. I, I, I don't know if you're getting. Yes, yes, so you're, yes. this house needs to be cleaned. Approaches. And this house, this house is clean. Mm-hmm. So th- there's a way you, the way you, you manipulate your words. Because uh, like, even when the Bible, when Jesus was saying like, we forgive seven times per day. Mm-hmm. He, you know, like because we say seven is like the number of perfection, something of that sort. It's not like, uh huh. You know, it's not like uh, I have, to, you are, I have to forgive this person seven times, and then after that, now I forgive you about this, that, that, this, and this. But the fact of reminding the person that you forgave them about this something means you haven't even forgiven them. Yeah. You haven't forgiven at all. The fact that you can just remind the person about this. Because if, if you take the same scenario with what happens with, with Jesus, with our Father. If God was still the same God of the time of Noah, of Sodom and Gomorrah, I tell you, my sister will not be here at all. True. Because the evil things we do, I don't know how many times God has forgiven me for the things I do every single day. I sin maybe by by thinking without knowing and even knowingly. The, I may even my eyes. I don't know how many times they have sinned knowingly and knowingly. But God still forgives us. But humans, we want to say no. Come on, Apana. I, if you do this to me, I can forgive you if you if you steal my money. But if you touch this, I can't forgive. No. <laughs> I know. I know. I know what you're saying. But you know. Um, I, I think that <laughs> sometimes it's just the grace of God. Because uh, 
forgiveness is sometimes it's really hard and sometimes we forgive people who don't even see that we are forgiving them so we are human you know and human nature is so it's something that cannot be explained in one day so once let me let me forgive right now i forgive right now tomorrow this person is going to to still make me feel bad so i'll still forgive and forgive and forgive and forgive we get tired we're human beings but with the help of god with the help of you know you know a being resilient we can still learn how to co- continue to forgive you know because people really do really ugly things and really harsh things to us but god god is there to help us yeah. god is there to help us to go through all of it and um i uh, will tell you one thing for taki okay. so people 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 say harsh things to us sometimes it's uh, it's not like they don't know sometimes they know other times they don't know their their how much damage they're doing to to you how much damage they're doing to someone and um it's a matter of let, let's just leave it to god yeah. you know just leave it alone and um there are people who cannot be taught there are not there are people who cannot be told how how to live there are people yeah, who, they know everything <laughs> but <laughs> they i feel, they know everything. yeah but i feel like um leave it to god Just let let life do what it does you know because at the end of the day um we are growing we are all growing every day we learn every day is a lesson we don't know everything so anyway that's all for me <laughs> like like someone was saying like you know you any that thing when you bring a soap you can wash that thing with a soap whatever But if there was a way we could wash our mouth with soap, it would be better because <laughs> you just bring soap, you say, ah, I want to speak things. Mm, bring soap, you wash my, you just wash your mouth and <laughs> so it may be clean. But unfortunately, we cannot wash our mouth with soap because it wouldn't change anything. It wouldn't add anything. So it's just, I, I don't know what to say. Like that, that's, that's why the Holy Spirit comes, you know. When, when you pray, when you pray, God will just instruct you to do certain things and it will, the Holy Spirit will just guide you in certain ways you don't have to do this to hurt your neighbor you don't have to do this to because uh God says you cannot really say you love me a person that you cannot see and a person that you can actually literally see you don't love that person yeah. then how come how do you love me and we made this person we made this person the image of god mm-hmm. and you don't love the person you can see yeah. and claim that you love the person you don't see mm-hmm. so like words are so powerful they can change lives for the better they can shift minds yeah. they can uplift and and inspire people they can educate they can heal they can elicit feelings of immense love and joy and what can destroy smash hearts devastate and fracture relationships so it depends on what you do yeah do i want to destroy this person mm-hmm. okay after destroying that person what do you gain mm-hmm. what do you gain out of it what do you gain mm-hmm. but when you inspire someone you uplift someone yeah. what do you gain a lot a lot when i inspire this person and this person tomorrow it becomes a ceo who do you think that person will will want will want to work with next time i i i, I help i let's say you, you are you're down i just come and tell you frida you know this time will pass you know just believe in god take don't take it up to heart just be strong pray and do this and this and this and this yeah you'll be good mm-hmm. then tomorrow you get up and fit you feeling strong and god blesses you if i say frida i am i'm this fix yeah. and i need abcd to help me stand yeah. Yeah. W- will you deny helping me no no that's 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 how now i think that's how now we can connect this to relationships ah. because that's now a very strong relationship now this friend of mine was here for me when i needed them and now when it's their time i have to do the same because you know because 
that, that, that's how it should be if someone yeah. was there for you you have to be there for them so that's a relationship that's a plus that's we are building each other and i, I guess that's true so uh, there's this quote i saw somewhere he says but the human tongue is a beast that few can master it strains constantly to break out of its cages and if it's not tamed you know what i was saying now taming your tongue it will run wild and cause you grief can you imagine so like sometimes our mouths get our, our tongues get gets us into trouble things we say they could get us into trouble or they could build us well so guys I, i hope you you've been listening to this you can also be sharing what you think about this topic what you if you agree with whatever we've been discussing here with Frida you can discuss about it also and inbox us you know my ig at scott underscore fataki you can inbox me there your comments your feedback you can also inbox Frida at kara dot boo <laughs> it's karambu <laughs> just that between the a and the m there's a adult <laughs> yeah as we are reaching the end of today's episode uh i just i would just like to say uh some things um once uttered um will will uh you know <clears throat> they will stick or remain into a person's heart for for a lifetime yeah it, whether they speak out the person who said those words come and apologize or not there are some words you may say to someone and they will yeah they will remain and stick you know stamped with their own the person's heart for a lifetime whether you you come and apologize or not so be careful with whatever you say guys be so careful whatever you do outside there it's up to you but what i would like you to do just be on a positive side always be that kind of person who uplifts other people who inspires other people who motivates people don't be the person who always neglects people who downgrades people who crushes people who breaks people you know be a blessing and don't be a burden to someone but be a blessing frida what do you have to say that i concur with you that whatever you say to the next person may determine how they live for the rest of their lives you know there are people who are very sensitive there are people who maybe have not been through uh, traumatic experiences in their childhoods and what but there are people who have been through that so be careful there's something i could say to to you fataki or there's someone something i could say to someone so depressed and the next day i hear that they died because i said that thing to crush their spirit they depended on me to build or to to see maybe to 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 live another hour or another uh minute so let's be kind out here be kind to one another yes guys be kind be positive so be a blessing and not a burden so your mouth in the society matters plays a big role So guys that's the end of this episode so if you're not subscribed to our podcast yet guys please do so and please rate rate this podcast when you rate us you will help us you will help this podcast uh reach other people as well you know when we reach more people we become a blessing to many people as well don't just be a, don't just be blessed alone share to someone else to your friend you know share the link to some other people We so you can find this uh podcast this episode on pod uh on Spotify sorry on Spotify so Spotify just Scott, just type Scott Fataki and you'll find it there let's talk about and on Anchor as well you'll find this you'll find it there Scott Fataki still let's talk about that's uh, the name of our podcast it was it was good until it was good <laughs> it was really a pleasure having my co-host of this beautiful podcast guys let's talk about dot 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 frida music you know frida music she's a beautiful singer a good singer powerful minister thank you so much for having me It's a pleasure discussing such topics very sensitive topics <laughs> yeah 
so guys don't miss the next episode we'll be having a powerful guest we'll be sharing the topic next time we'll be with frida again but we won't be the two of us alone we'll be having that third person we don't know who it's be but just stay tuned yeah thank you so much guys have a blessed time bye 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 bye